Hey guys and gals, Dr. Lucifer here. I'm uh, performing brain surgery on my V11. I got the old board, control board switched out, and I'm about to uh, put in a new one. And uh, no, I didn't film this whole thing, you know, step by step instructions or anything. Um, why? I don't know. <laughs> but I do have some tips for you. Um, in case you're ever in this predicament of having to open up your wheel for either maintenance or repairs. And um, apparently, quite a few people have to do repairs on their V11. Especially if they're the current Batch 4 or whatever. You'd be surprised. And if you don't have to repair your V11, count yourself lucky. Anyway... Here's my tips. Um, label everything. Uh, you see I got little tags, little labels on uh, all the plugs and wires and whatnot. Uh, that'll make things a lot easier. And um, also the parts, the screws, the bolts, uh, everything. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to label those. And, um, you know. That'll make things a hell of a lot easier. Don't have to play, uh, you know, like uh, what puzzle piece fits in what slot, that kind of thing. <laughs> and um, let's see, what else can I tell you as far as tips go? Um, it's not necessary to uh, remove the shocks in order to uh, switch out the uh, control board, but uh, I do advise um, letting the pressure, the air pressure, out of the shocks because um, that'll make things a lot easier when you put the, uh, the saddle and the handle back on because uh, if there's um, pressure in the air shocks, you're going to have trouble aligning, you know, the holes to, um, you know, put everything back into place if the air shocks are, you know, like preventing you from... Uh, 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 you know, pushing the handle down to get the bolts in the right slots, you know, the right holes. Um, what else? <clears throat> um, oh, the, the lights, uh, the front and back lights. Um, yeah, you're going to have to take off the, the shell, the side panels that are covering the battery casing in order to get to the holes. Uh, for the light housings because although you don't have to completely remove the light housing you're going to have to uh, unscrew them and tip them away from the control board enough to get at all the screws and lift out the control board so um, yeah but as far as uh, you know just a little rundown of little tips that might help you along uh, should you run into this sort of difficulty like I have more than once <laughs> there you go that might th make things a little bit easier for you okay so um, I'll cut it here complete my brain surgery and um, you know hopefully I'll get this thing back on the road 45 miles and it dies come on now man in motion you're lagging.